Welcome back to Grit and Gumption, guys. I just came in from outside making a video. I feel like I'm melting. I am so hot and sweaty. It's disgusting. Humidity is so high. It's just gross out there. But hey, I got it done. Let's look at it. Yeah, the basil and the manganji peppers that I had um, planted. Let you see how that's going. Um, thought it could be better than it is by now, but at least it's going, right? It's just slow going. So let's take a look at that. So this is the basil. And there's a lot coming up. You just can't really see it, but there's some, there's some, there's some real little, there's some, there's some, there's some, there's some, there's some, there's some, there's some. It's everywhere. But, and then on this one, they're better. So I don't know why that is. We planted them all at the same time. So there's like a ton coming up in here. So there's that. Now let's look at the manganji. So this is the manganji peppers. And as you can see, we got a ton of rain. And uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plants there. So I think I'm gonna take these out today. Oh, there's another one. Um, so eight, and I will transplant those. Looks like there's one trying to come up right here, if you can see that. I'll transplant those and drain off this water and then maybe over the next couple days we'll see how this goes but for right now eight of those manganji plants it's awesome that's really good but considering I put uh, 22 to what was it 21 42 42 seeds in here yeah so we'll see we will see keep an eye on that but and then I'll show you the other side of the garden where I planted those squash and show you, we'll find out what came up and if the Hubbard, that orange Hubbard squash came up. So here we go. Had to lay some of my stuff here. These are some tomatillos that fell off. They weren't ready yet, but they did fall off. Let me get my paper out of here. And these tomatoes. So I'm gonna throw those in for the chickens, those tomatillos. Maybe they'll eat them. But I had to leave all my stuff over here in the corner, I did check my uh, beans and I do have some in there. See, they're coming on, so that's good. Looks like I better get out here and maybe grab some. Wow, those snuck up fast. All right, I gotta be careful getting over here because I don't wanna step on anything. I put my feet in here. Woo, here's all my stash I dropped, my gosh. Unbelievable. So I'm gonna put that in my basket real fast. Let me do that and then I'll be right back with you. Well, I had more than I thought I did. I um, also pulled that off of the tomatillos because it broke off, so I had to get it out of here. But, boy, I tell you what, I thought I was gonna drop that getting out of there, out of that corner. I do have a bunch of cherry tomatoes and uh, different ones over here. Stuff I gotta get these cleared out today too, so. I'll get those done. I did sneak a couple already and eat them. Cause I mean, well, you can't help that, right? <laughs> That's all right. But yeah, I got a bunch of tomatoes coming on. Um, I do have to clear out some dead tomatillos that are in here. See, they kind of broke off in the storm, I think. We had a lot of wind. So this plant kind of came down some. I'll have to put it back up. So they're not ready yet, but they'll get there. And then, here are the purple ones. The purple ones are growing great. Um, look at all those buds everywhere. Those blooms, they're just gorgeous. They're everywhere. So hopefully I'll get a lot off of that. That'll be awesome. And of course the flowers are doing great. Looking good. This one looks like it got broken somehow. Must have been that storm. I'll pull it off. It's gorgeous, isn't it? All right take that with me and let's go check out the squash that I planted all right guys I'm in the smaller side of the garden this is the zucchini that we uh, zucchini plant that we had I pulled off one earlier this morning because well it's done and I'll tell you I know right here see these little bugs those are baby squash bugs and they are all over it so we're gonna have to get some diatomaceous earth in here they're all over I mean just all over look at this you see that it's crazy so before my other ones 
get eaten up. We're gonna kill these boogers. I'm gonna come back this afternoon. Okay, so here, this is where we're at with this stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, looky there. Okay, I'm trying to remember what I put here and I'm telling you right now. This one right there is this. Okay, so it came up, no problem, okay? These two are, I think they are these, the delcatas, or honey boat delcata. Pretty sure that's what those are, so that's cool. Then I went over here to this one. We got two coming up. Let me show you. Okay, that is this. The butternut orange, the one I like, um, the one I've been trying to grow forever. We'll see if it if it you know goes. Um, I did plant another one right here in this mound, but I can see that we've got some of these bugs right there all over. Oh, it is coming up right here. Looky here, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Look, it's coming up. So we're going to have to get this treated like ASAP. Okay, then the last two, I told you guys the Jardel. I always call it Jardel, but I guess it's like Jardel, whatever, is this one. Okay, I planted those the other day. Um, that came up like gangbusters. No problem. I mean, really fast, way faster than the others. And there's the other one. So that's like excellent popping out. But we got those little boogers everywhere, so we gotta take care of that. Okay guys, now this is the cucumber, that white spine one. It's good for pickling. And here's three that came up too, but they're not looking so good for some reason. I don't know why. But these guys, I was gonna try to separate them, but you know what? I'm not going to, I'm just gonna leave them. Actually, there's the other one. So. <laughs> Looks like I'll be, have, be able to have plenty of sweet pickles later, for sure. Um, I have plenty of dill already, so we'll go sweet pickles and maybe some bread and butters. But they came up really good. But like I said, that's the white spine cucumber. So I'm happy all those guys are coming up. The only problem is going to be those baby squash bugs, and they are all over here. So today, definitely, we'll get the diatomaceous earth on there. I did want to remind you, I know you guys know what basil, basil looks like. Here, Kane, hold these seeds, please. Those right there, yeah. Um, this is the uh, Nganji pepper, remember? I don't know if you remember that or not, but that's what I planted over there in that one tub that had like eight coming up. So I love those. Then I'll show you what else I'm gonna uh, plant today, because I just got these seeds. So let me find them. Mm. All right, this is a purple Sicily cauliflower. I'm going to get that in the ground today as well. Um, can't wait. I also ordered some broccoli that's purple. I'll get it in the ground as well today. And then I think we're going to plant these again. Okay, we'll get those in. And then I did have a package. Oh yeah, we're going to do these radishes and get some more of these in today. So Okay, guys, this is just what I pulled off this morning, and we just got some, like, yesterday. So, this is pretty good for an extra garden. Like I said, this was just the extra space that of the goats after we got rid of them, and I put in a garden. So, it can be done on a very small scale. You can get a lot of food. Read about your plants. These were the big Berthas. Um, you know, these are huge. So, I'm going to be able to make some pretty good salsa and use a lot of that, and I'm gonna use some in some other recipes that I have. I need to make some potatoes O'Brien, and um, a lot of other things. So I have plenty for that, and I didn't even pull them all. There's a ton on there still that I just let grow, so, because um, I know I'm not gonna need that much yet. So, I mean, you can do this, people. You can do it. Oh, you guys, it is so hot out here. It feels like it's like 98% humidity. It is miserable. My glasses are starting to fog up even. Um, yeah, I got to get these beets in. Um, beets are like one of my favorite things in the garden. If I can make salsa and get some pickled beets going, um, if I don't get anything else from my garden, I would be happy with that. We did get a bunch of the, um, ac or the yeah, acorn squash. Uh, we got a bunch of those out and we have those on the porch. Um, and I gave some to my girls, each one of them, so they both got some of that. Um, so we had a pretty good uh, harvest off of those. 
So I'm really happy about that. And I'm thinking about even putting some more of those in because I do have the time for it, um, you know, before the uh, first frost comes to get those going. So, and the other squash, you know, I'm thinking they'll probably make it. I heard this winter was going to be a hard winter. I'm not sure, but um, if it is, I hope it starts late <laughs> so I can get no squash in. I'm going to also can some squash because I've got some in the house from last year still and they're still hard as can be. I don't remember what this little tomato is, but this is the best little tomato. We had these last night on um, burritos and they were so good. Do you remember what they were, Kane? I don't remember what they were either. So full of flavor, it's crazy. I mean, they are like the best tomato I think I've eaten so far this summer. Um, here's my Cherokee purple. Looks like something got it and then I set all the tomatoes on top of it. It was good until then and then I kind of squished it open the rest of the way. It was ready. So that's why I went ahead and picked these. This one wasn't really ready, but it was on the ground. And so I was like, well, I'll get it. Same thing with this one. It was on the ground. I went ahead and picked it. I'll set it on the porch there on the rail and it'll be fine. These uh, jalapenos didn't get too big, but they were ready. They were falling off as soon as I hit the um, plant, they were falling to the ground. So I went ahead and picked those up. Um, I have a ton of California Reapers out there and scorpion peppers. I'm trying to think what else. Scotch bonnets. I have one scotch bonnet that is what got ready and then something ate it. So I am going to go out there and keep an eye on those. So as soon as those hot peppers start coming in, I can make my hot pepper jam. Uh, I'm going to let you go. It's too hot out here for me and I got to get to town so I can go buy my cilantro because as I said before, no good at growing it so um i'm just gonna go buy it and make my salsa so hope you guys are making salsas and uh growing your stuff hope everything's turning out good keep an eye on it real good um also keep an eye on those bugs from the pests you know you can use um that diatomaceous earth like i said you can also use neem oil if you want um i don't generally use any pesticides and stuff like that on my garden and never have my grandmother never did and I never have and I've always had every everything I ever needed I mean I've never been shy of food for the year so that's for sure um, I don't believe in that um, uh, this earth I guess you know maybe have an Indian in them and my ancestry um, this earth is what feeds us and keeps us alive and I'm not going to put poison in it anyway. I mean, it takes a little tending, a little bit more time, um, a little more awareness um, than, you know, otherwise. But I'll tell you what, you guys, I got sick and this garden kind of had to just deal with itself for almost two weeks and I didn't have an eye on it at all and I still am doing great. So I know you can do it too. It can be done. I'm going to let you guys go. Y'all, this is a secret to a good marriage. When you open up your freezer and you look what your husband stashed in there for you. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs>